When it comes to leadership collaboration and change, the power of assumptions is uh, one of the most important concepts uh, to understand. So I would like to spend a few episodes on that topic. And today I would like to start with the processing capacity of the brain. David Levitin, the author of the book, The Organized Mind, has provided a few figures on that, which I would like to quote. The first figure he provides is that he says, in our world, there are about 300 extra byte of information available in total. 300 extra byte, that's a figure, that's a three with 20 zeros or 100 billion times 300 million, something like that. That's the information around in the world. The second figure he quotes is that during a leisure day, the brain processes 34 gigabyte of information. Now, he is a little bit inconsistent in that because in a third figure, he says that, and he quotes uh, the research of several studies, that our brain is only able to process consciously 120 bits per second. And 120 bits per second would mean, let's say, during a 16 hours day, let, uh, let us uh, exclude the time of sleep, although, of course, the brain also works then. But let's say during 16 hours of conscious thinking, that would be 800 kilobytes. So where does the difference between 34 gigabyte and 800 kilobyte come from? I mean, if you think about a normal movie that you watch, that's already a couple of gigabytes. I think the difference is the, the word conscious. So we consciously only process 120 bits per second maximum. That's already uh, only when we are able to focus a lot. Uh, and all the other information which passes through our brain uh, of the 34 gigabyte is lost or not, not actually not consciously processed. A part of it might be processed, processed uh, unconsciously. Uh, that's a different discussion. Now, what that means is that we filter out a lot of information. And as you know, our brain has developed quite some uh, sophisticated filters over the hundreds of thousands of years of evolution to reduce the information to a maximum, to really reduce the information to that bit which is important in a given situation, which obviously misguides us in many situations. I'll come to that later on. For today, I would just like to give you a little exercise, a little task. Um, just to become more aware of what information is available to you in every given moment. So uh, if you have a moment of being still, uh, being undisturbed, uh, maybe now or in a, in a while after you've listened to that, please do the following exercise. Try to become aware of five things you see. Next is... Try to become aware of four things you hear. The third thing is, try to become aware of three things you touch, you feel on your skin. Maybe the floor under your feet or the chair you're sitting in. Things like that. Or the wind, the breeze. Next one is, try to become aware of two things that you smell. And the last thing is, try to become aware of one thing that you taste. Which of these informations were conscious to you before you started the exercise? Let's continue to talk about filters in one of the next episodes. I'm Holger Nauheimer and this is Comcast.